With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, dear student. The question says, a mercury drop of radius 1 cm is spread into 10 raised to 6 droplets of equal size, means all the radii of small drops are same. Calculate the energy expanded if surface tension of mercury is 35 into 10 raised to minus 3 Newton per meter. So, this is the complete question. So, naturally this question is based on surface tension. So, basically we are taking the radius of the bigger drop as capital R equal to 1 centimeter. Uh, this is the value of the number of small droplets. So, we will be denoting it by small and this is equal to 10 raised to 6. And all small drops are of equal size. Now, this is surface tension. So, it is represented by S. This is equal to 35 into 10 raised to minus 3 Newton per meter. Because basic formula of surface tension is force divided by the length of the imaginary line drawn on the liquid surface. Now, we have to calculate the energy. Since energy expanded, energy expanded in, in uh, breaking the drop will be equal to work done to increase the surface area. So, the increase in surface area we can denote it by the change in surface area or the increase in surface area is n into 4 pi small r square minus 4 pi into capital R square. Over here we have introduced n for the number of small droplets and since big droplet is only 1, therefore we have multiplied just 1 in front of it. So, this is equation number 1. Now, the energy is equal to the work done against increasing the surface area and this work done is equal to the surface tension into the change in area. So, we can take for change in area this expression equation number 1. So, this is n 4 pi r square minus 4 pi r square. So, we can take from here 4 pi common. So, this is S into 4 pi within bracket nr square minus capital R square. Now, according to the question, only capital R is given to us. Therefore, we will be finding relationship between small r and capital R by using the concept whenever a drop breaks, then the volume of one big drop is equal to the volume of n small drops. Therefore, we can take the volume of one big drop as 4 by 3 pi r cube and this is equal to n into volume of one small droplet is 4 by 3 pi into small r cube. So, certain things cut down like 4 by 3 pi, 4 by 3 pi. So, we get r cube is equal to n into small r cube. Hence, we can find the value of this small r. So, this is small r equals to r by n and uh, this is the cube root like because if I write the original expression, this is r cube by n and its whole cube root. So, we can express that small r is equal to capital R divided by the cube root of n. This is equation number 3 for us. So, we can put this value in the previous equation for the change in area. Check this, we can put this value over this place. So, we can get the energy is equal to, actual equation was energy is equal to S into 4 pi n r square minus capital R square which was equation 2. So, we can put the value of this small r. So, this is S into 4 pi n into. Now, if we are using the square, 
This is R square is equal to capital R square upon n raised to 2 by 3, taking the square of all three terms. So this is capital R square upon n raised to 2 by 3 minus capital R square. Now using the expression for third, we can have S into 4 pi within bracket n raised to 1 minus 2 by 3 minus 1 and we may have capital R square common. So this gives us S into 4 pi n raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 into capital R square. So now we may put the values of all the things given in the question. So as we know the surface tension is given as 35 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 into 4 into in place of pi we can put 3.14 the value of this n is given as 10 raised to 6 by 3 minus 1 into capital R as we know that according to the question capital R is given as 1 centimeter so when taking in SI system this 1 centimeter will be 10 raised to minus 2 meter and its square because this is R square. So we get the whole answer after solving this as 4.356 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 joule. So this is the answer for energy utilized in the braking. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.